Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of BGR. Let's start the video. So, what is meant by BGR? So, band gap reference is the definition of BGR. So, what is the use of BGR? Suppose if we need a constant output voltage. So, regardless of input power supply variation and as well as the device temperature variation. So, because of these two reasons we gonna lose some voltage in the circuits or in the block. So, the block which will give the constant output voltage regardless of temperature variation and as well as the power supply variation, the circuit is called band gap reference. Usually, we will get the output voltage variation due to two common reasons. The first common reason is the power supply variation. So, whenever there is a power supply variation which means input power supply variation obviously the output voltage also will affect because of the power fluctuation in input side and as well as the temperature variation. So, the internal device if any circuits it has some internals, internal components if the internal components will change the performance will change the operation due to the temperature because all the device is related to temperature. So, depending on the temperature only the device will work all the all the electronic components will work based on the temperature only. So, because of these two reasons power supply variation and the temperature changes. So, these two reasons will affect the output voltage of any circuits or any block. So, now we are going to design one circuit which will not affect from the power supply variation and as well as the temperature variation. So, the because of this reason only we are going for the BGR. So, now we have a two types of power fluctuations. So, power fluctuation. So, first the supply variation is the secondary thing. First we will go for the temperature variation. Supply variation will be happen due to lot of reasons. If the input voltage source is not performing very well, we will get the power supply, power supply variation. Suppose if the metal which is not capable to carry the voltage obviously again there we will get the power supply fluctuation. Suppose if the metal resistivity is very higher then we will get power supply fluctuation. But these are all the power supply fluctuation related to metal connections and power supply units. But the temperature variation is the main role here because each and every component is depending on temperature. It is not independent of temperature it is purely depending on temperature. So, we have a two types of temperature variation. So, we will get two types of temperature variation. First temperature variation just we will take on graph. So, this is a normal graph. So, first here we have a voltage or else we have a current. So, this is a voltage or current. So, this is a temperature. So, we have a two types of component. So, one type of one kind of components what will happen if the temperature increased if the temperature increased it is a linearly I am increasing. So, linearly or non-linearly if the temperature increase the voltage also will increase. See if the temperature is 1 at the time the voltage will be 1. Suppose if the temperature is 5 degree centigrade at 5 here at the time the output voltage is also nearby to 5. So, it is this a 5 is a example I am telling. So, equivalent to the temperature. If the temperature is increase, increasing according to the increasing of temperature the voltage also will increase. So, these kind of components or these kind of temperature variation we can call it as a. So, this we can call it as a p tat. p tat in the sense proportional to the absolute temperature. If the temperature is increased. So, here if the temperature is increased our voltage is also increased and as well as the current level also increase. So, it depending on voltage or current either it may be a voltage or either it may be a current, but here we need a voltage. So, BGR is mainly designed to produce the constant voltage. Okay? So, if the temperature is increased the voltage will also increase which means the output voltage is also increased. So, this is called P tat proportional to the absolute temperature. Again we have a one more kind of components which will directly proportional to the P tat. So, same here we have a voltage and then here this is a temperature. See if the temperature increased the voltage will decrease. See this is a 0 voltage. So, at the time of 0 temperature the voltage will be somewhere 5 volt. At the time of increasing the temperature up to 5 degree centigrade up to 3 degree centigrade. If the temperature is increased the voltage will go to minus 
which means the voltage will decrease. So, this is called C tat complement to the absolute temperature. If the temperature here, if the temperature is increased, the voltage will decrease. C tat is the complement to the absolute temperature. So, whenever there is a temperature increase, the voltage will decrease. So, we have a two types of components. One few components will work like a P tat, few components will act like a C tat. So, P tat and C tat. But what is our goal? So, we need a constant output voltage. So, what we need? So, we need a constant voltage. So, this is a voltage and this is a temperature. So, we need a constant voltage. If the temperature is increased, that time also we need a constant voltage. So, consider this a 5 volt. So, 5 volt. So, temperature is keep on increasing this side. If the temperature is increased, what will happen based on the P tat and C tat, either it may be go or either it may be go higher or either it may be go lower voltage. But here, if the temperature is increased also, the output voltage, so this is the output voltage, the output voltage will be always be in constant. So, we need to design a circuit which will give the constant output voltage regardless of power supply variation and regardless of temperature variation. That circuit is called band gap reference. So, how we can get the constant output voltage because all the devices like resistor, capacitor or uh, any MOSFETs or transistor, active devices, passive devices, all the devices which will be act as a either P tat or either C tat. It will be come under the classification of P tat and C tat. There is no such a device which will be uh, what is it? which will be independence of temperature coefficient. Every devices, all the devices have the temperature coefficient. It purely depend on temperature. Then we have a question here. So, how to get this constant output voltage by using the same temperature related or temperature independent components, active component or passive component. So, now we are going to discuss that thing. So, now as I said, now we have a two types of voltage. The first one is called P tat and the second one is called C tat. So, proportional to the absolute temperature and complement to the absolute temperature. So, if we want the constant output voltage, so what we can do by adding C tat and P tat together, summation of C tat and P tat, so we will get the constant output voltage. So, V out will be constant. So, V out there will be constant. So, here I am explaining based on the graph. So, now the same graph here we have. So, this is voltage and this is temperature. So, now first we will come to P tat. So, the P tat will keep increase if the temperature is increased. So, this is P tat. So, now again we have a one more components which will decrease based on the temperature coefficient. So, this is C tat. So, what we have to do? We have to add C tat and P tat voltage, summation of C tat and P tat. So, we will get that constant output voltage. Suppose consider here this is a 0 0.5 volt. Okay. So, here it is a 1 volt. So, in between here we have a 0 0.75 volt, 0 0.75 volt. So, this is 1 volt. So, here this is again 0 0.5 volt. Suppose, if we add C tat and P tat, see for the first case 0 0.5 is the P tat and 1 is the C tat. So, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 1 is equal to 1.5. Again, here we have a 0 0.75 for P tat and same 0 0.75 for C tat. Again, for the second equation 0 0.75 P tat and 0 0.75 C tat. So, here also we will get 1.5 voltage. And third condition, we have a 1 voltage of P tat and 0 0.5 voltage of C tat. So, the additional voltage is called 1.5. So, even though if there is any temperature variation or temperature dependency, so we will get constant output voltage of 1 volt at all the situations. So, this is voltage and this is temperature. So, by adding C tat and P tat, so we will get the constant output voltage, but this case is only for the 
theoretical purpose so this will not applicable for practical purpose because practically we won't get that exact linear graph linearly it won't increase linearly it won't decrease also so practically how it will be there so practical graph how it will be there so just same the normal graph see same again the p tat will be like this but the c tat will be like this so this is how practical situation so this, this is also the normal graph this is also the actual graph i am telling so this is p tat we know this is this is p tat this is c tat this is p tat and this is c tat so this is the practical situation see, suppose if we are drawing the output voltage of the graph see somehow the power fluctuation will be like this so there will be a constant voltage but there will be a power fluctuation some 10 percentage to 20 percentage there will be a power fluctuation up and down fluctuations will be there based on the actual graph so this is our theoretical graph so theoretically the graphs will be like this but practically the device will not increase linearly the device will not decrease linearly also so there will be a lot of problems of temperature coefficient devices so everything is there this is a voltage this is a temperature so this is a v out graph so this is also v out graph so this is the actual case so this is a theoretical case but this is the actual case so actual case we will not get the exact output voltage which means the the linearity linearly the voltage will increase right p tat and as well as linearly the c tat will increase but practically the linearly there won't be a, any increasing of the voltage or decreasing of the voltage so now we have to design some formulas or some circuits which will give the constant output voltage even though there is a non-linear p tat and c tat voltage so generally what we will do we have to add p tat and c tat voltage if we add p tat and c tat then we will get the constant output voltage but p tat and c tat will not increase linearly so now again we have a going for the one con what is a uh, one constant voltage is called alpha one so alpha one p tat plus alpha one c tat so we can go for alpha 2 also so alpha 1 is the p tat alpha 2 is the p tat, c tat so alpha 1 and alpha 2 is the some kind of constant reference numbers so this alpha 1 and alpha 2 will be depends on the circuit to circuit or component to component so summation of alpha 1 p tat plus alpha 2 p tat so we will get the constant v output voltage so this is the formula for So this this is the formula for BGR. So whenever we want to design a BGR, so we need a P tat and we need a C tat. But P tat and C tat is not a linear voltage variation devices. So there will be a non-linear voltage fluctuation in C tat and P tat. So, so to prevent this problem, we are adding here some alpha 1 value and alpha 2 value. So alpha 1, alpha 2 is the constant value. So by adding alpha 1 and alpha 2, we will get the constant V output voltage. So this is the formula for the BGR. So now the temperature coefficient, the temperature related variation we have solved. So now we are going to power supply variation. So what is the power supply variation? So we have a one more problem called the variation in power supply. So how the power fluctuations will be there? See generally there will be a everywhere there will be a power fluctuation. So power fluctuation can happen due to so many reasons. The first reason as I know due to the improper devices. If the devices is not working properly interconnecting of the two devices. If the two devices suppose this is one diode network. So usually we have a diode network to rectify anything right. So this is a diode network. If the diode is itself it is not identical devices each and all the diodes or each and all the components will not identical components right we know this is not identical components so due to the diodes so we will not get the expected output voltage so here we are giving some input voltage output voltage we will expect some same x dash we will get some ex expected voltage is x dash but due to the device property or due to the uh, improper device fabrication so we will not get this x dash so we will get x1 dash. 
so this is our actual output this is our expected output so because of this reason we will get the output supply variation second thing metal resistivity so as we know all the metal have some sheet resistance so here we have a sheet resistance all we know the sheet resistance same thing here i am applying some x input voltage here based on the theoretical formulas we have calculated we here we supposed to get the x dash value but we don't know how much ion implantation will happen here how much doping will happen here how the structure wise which means the silicon structure wise how the metal will fabricate how the metal atoms are internally how the metals atoms are formed together so we don't know anything so based on this value so we will not get the expected value same here we will get x1 dash value so due to the improper metal due to the sheet resistance of the metal also we will there will be power fluctuation so we will get some power fluctuation and second thing power supply unit itself damaged all the electricity boards will not give the constant output voltage so suppose if this is our output voltage in a sense there will be a power fluctuation everywhere will be 10 to 15 percentage so power fluctuation in a sense either it may be a plus or minus 10 to 15 percentage suppose we will get 230 volt input supply so we will not get this 230 volt input supply constantly so there will be a voltage between 180 volt to 250 volts so there will be a voltage rating between 180 to 250 so our device has to be supposed to be work in between this 180 to 250 and 250 to 180 so all the devices will be fabricated based on the voltage fluctuation also it will work on 180 also it will work on 250 also so based on this also we will get supply variation so this is the main reason for supply variation and the second thing is a temperature coefficient suppose if you want to design any circuits or any components it has to be work with minus 40 degree temperature to plus 125 degree temperature so this is the temperature coefficient all the devices should work even though there is a minus 40 voltage even though there is a plus 125 degree temperature but the output we have to expect the same output even though there is a power what is a temperature fluctuation in anywhere if there is a 40 voltage also we have the, the device has to be work in the same even if it is at 125 voltage also the device has to be work as the same and then this is a typical condition is 27 degree so typical condition is the 27 degree centigrade so this is the best case for 27 degree so 125 is the worst case and minus 40 is the best case and 27 is the typical case so we have a best case worst case and typical case all these three cases our device has to be work with the normal condition so the we, we don't want any kind of power fluctuation we don't want any kind of voltage fluctuation in the device the device should work with the proper output voltage so even though there is a temperature dependencies so now to resolve all these problems we are going for the bgr so bgr usually so we have a bgr this is a one block of bgr here we are giving some supply voltage so here we are taking some output supply voltage so this is the io this is the output so even though there is a power fluctuation in input the voltage will remain same even though there is a temperature coefficient a temperature dependency on the bgr components still the output voltage will get constant voltage whatever the things happened here so we will get the constant output voltage so this is the block diagram of bgr so in depth if you want to go for a bgr so we have a p tat so one block is called p tat and the second block is called c tat so p tat and c tat we both want to add with alpha 1 and then alpha 2 so alpha 1 plus alpha 2 we need to add with this the constant values and then the both should be added together the board should be added together so here we will get the constant c v out so p tat is a proportional to the absolute temperature c tat is the complement to the absolute temperature c tat and p tat both we should add with alpha 1 and alpha 2 so addition of these two will give the constant output voltage so this is the internal block diagram of, of bgr i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video Thank you for watching my video. 
If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.